Hi everybody, I'm John Jameson. Uh, thanks for stopping by for another uh, wealth training session today. Today we're going to do something very unusual, something that's probably you've never seen before in your life and everyone needs to see it. What I'm going to show you how to do is actually make money on your automobile. And I'm going to suggest to you that it might be a better place to put your money than actually inside of your 401k. And I know that flies in the face of everything that we've been taught, but as I keep saying, we've been taught wrong. And I'm going to illustrate that with hardcore numbers right on this board here. All right? First of all, I need to explain a concept to you. Most of us, focus we don't focus our money. In other words, we might have two 401ks, a savings account, a checking account. Meanwhile, we have two car payments, a house payment, some credit cards, maybe some business loans. We might have some real estate. We might have a stock account where we're trading Ameritrade, mutual funds. We have all these, our money splintered all over the place. And money is very, acts very similar to light. The light we have in this room, it's not focused. It just kind of blends over the whole room. So it really can't do a whole bunch, but light the room up a little bit. When you focus light like a laser beam, it can actually cut through steel. So we need to learn the concept of focusing our money. So what I want to show you is this. I'm going to actually prove to you that, in my opinion, you're far better off setting up your own bank and financing your automobile rather than doing your 401k. And I'm going to give you what I think is a really good example for a 401k, something that hasn't been true, but I'm going to put the numbers up and they're still going to, you're still going to see what happens. So let's do this. What you see back here is I've got a 401k, and let's say you've got $25,000 in it, and let's say we let it ride for, the five, for five years from now. So that same $25,000, five years from now, and let's say we get a 30% profit on that account. Now, not 30% annually but 30% over five years, which is actually doing really well. In fact, why don't you go look five years ago, see what your money was then, back out the fresh money you've put in it, and then decide if you've got a 30% return over the last five years. I can almost promise you, you didn't even come close to that. So let's just say the market goes crazy, because that's where you've got most of your 401ks, and over the next five years, you're able to get a true 30% profit. 30% on $25,000 is $7,500. Okay, so our $25,000 made us $7,500. So in fact, we actually have $32,500 total in that account. So we did really well. Okay. Now, meanwhile, in another part of our life that we're not really paying our attention to, we had to buy a car. Now, I'm going to assume that you bought a car the same way 97% of Americans buy a car, and you went out and financed it. Now, it really doesn't matter if you paid cash, because the example we're gonna, you're going to see is still fantastic if you paid cash. But let's just say you went out there and you had to buy a car and it's five years later, we paid $25,000 for the car. We've been making payments now for five years. Pick an interest rate, it really doesn't matter for the example. So let's say we paid about $5,000 worth of interest. So over that same five year period, we've paid out $30,000, okay? So we've paid out 30, but what's our car worth now? Our car is worth, for this example, let's say $5,000, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, it depends. But we've paid out thirty dollars because we bought the car for $25,000. We also paid $5,000 worth of interest. So we paid out thirty. dollars Our asset now is worth five. dollars So folks, that's a $25,000 loss. So we made $7,500 in our 401k, because remember, it's all our money. Whether it's in a 401k or in an automobile, we're still spending the money. It's money that's either coming into our households or leaving our households. So in this example, we made $7,500, but we actually lost $25,000 down here. So how much did we lose? Guys, we lost just a little less than $20,000 over that five-year time frame. So if you ever wonder why you truly can't get ahead, man, my 401k is up and I, there's just, I don't know, man, I, I, I can't get ahead. This is why because you're not focusing your money, and this is only two accounts examples. So let's give you a different scenario. What if instead of having that $25,000 inside of the 401k, what if we actually used it and we bought it, we bought our automobile. Now, we don't do it inside of a 401k. We need to do it in another very specifically designed account that you guys have heard me talk about. So let's just say we do that. So now the money's not in the 401k. We're going to take $25,000 and we're going to buy our car. Okay. So again, we've got a $25,000 automobile, and it's five, it's the same five years go by. 
But here's what we did. Instead of paying cash and leaving the money sit there and not volumizing or velocitizing that money, we understand about volume and velocity because you've been trained through us, and we're going to actually rotate that money. In other words, we're going to set up a payment on this $25,000 just like we would have had down here. So in other words, we're going to be the bank. So five years from now, here's what happened. Our car is still only worth $5,000. It depreciated just like the other one did. However, here's what happened on the other side of the coin. We have structured a payment, and I don't know what the payment is, say it's $400. Might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less, but who cares? Five years from now, we have recaptured that $25,000 is back inside of our guaranteed account, not our 401k. We picked up the $5,000 of interest because we were the bank, and that's money we were going to pay out anyways. So that's $30,000 of cash that we have. Because of the kind of account this was in, we also got another $3,000, let's say, of interest and growth. All of that was tax-free, so we have $33,000 in cash, plus we still have the $5,000 car, which is still an asset, and of course it's an appreciating asset, but remember, this is the same five years. All right, so we have $38,000 thousand dollars worth of assets in this scenario. Over here, we had 32.5, but guys, we lost $25,000 with our car. Over here, we picked up $38,000 because we were the bank and here's what we were able to do. Remember the four wealth trains. If you haven't seen the video that we've shot about the four wealth trains, you need to because this might not be as clear if you don't see that four wealth train video. But if you understand from the four wealth trains, one of the biggest wealth trains nobody talks about is depreciation on assets like a car. By the way, if your spouse has a car, times this by two over the next five years. We're talking really serious money, and that's why the average person will put way more money into automobiles than they're ever going to be able to save for retirement. Do you see now why that is? See, guys, this is simple numbers that anybody can track. So what we're telling you what to do is consider being the bank and financing your own automobiles as opposed to doing your 401k. And I, you know, people are going to tell me how great a 401k is. Please, don't waste your time. I know what those accounts are about. They're, we're going to talk more about it in another video. And if, you, if it's on here and it's already shot, look on something about a 401k. We're going to tell you how these accounts really work. That is such a great case scenario there that's never going to happen. So the numbers actually get worse. So over here, yes, we made $7,500 with our twenty-five grand, but over here, or down here, we lost all that depreciation. We paid out thirty grand of our hard-earned money. We've only got $5,000 to show for it. So we lost twenty-five here. So make $7,500 up here, lose twenty-five here. Is it any wonder that people are struggling? Meanwhile, by simply being the bank and structuring the same payment we had to pay anyways, we got $38,000 worth of assets, 33 of which are liquid, tax-free, and we have access to it, unlike the 401ks. I don't want to get into the 401k discussion right now. So when I tell people that they can actually get rich with their automobiles, they think I'm nuts. It's because they don't understand how money works and how financing works. Who makes money on an automobile? Well, hopefully the manufacturer does. Being from Detroit, I'm partial to that. I want them to make their money. But who makes money once the car is sold? The dealer, I hope. Okay, fine. But once you own it, who makes money on the car? Finance companies make money on automobiles. So why don't you be the finance company? Food for thought. Thanks for joining us today. It's been my pleasure. Look at some of our other videos on here. Contact us. Hey, if you like this, if you thought it was a little bit different and you want somebody to see it, please use the internet, power the internet. Let's get this message out to people because there's all kinds of people struggling because they don't understand how money works. Thanks so much. Again, this is John Jameson with the Perpetual Wealth System. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.